Okay, in this video I just want to do a few examples of simplifying some expressions involving absolute value. So I've got three examples, um, and let's do uh, the first one first. Um, so we're going to take the absolute value of, the, of 8 minus 12. And again, on these problems, typically, you know, I just try to work inside out. So um, if we do 8 minus 12, we get negative 4. And then remember, if we take the absolute value of uh, a number, negative, a negative number, it simply turns into the positive of that number. So the absolute value of negative 4 is simply 4. And again, be careful, because um, again, a very one of the classic mistakes, you don't want to do this, um, it would be easy to make this the absolute value of 8 minus the absolute value of 12 which would be 8 minus 12, which would be negative 4, which is not correct. Okay, so do not do any of these steps here in red. So don't, you can't break up the absolute value when you're adding and subtracting. You have to be real careful about that, okay? So just a little uh, word of warning. I'm sure I've done it myself uh, more than once. Okay, so in the next one here, we have the absolute value of negative 4 times the absolute value of 3. And again, I think, well, what's the absolute value of negative 4? That's simply positive 4. The absolute value of positive 3 is just itself positive 3. And then we get 4 times 3, and that gives us our solution of 12. And in the last one here, the same thing. We have the absolute value of negative 25 over 5. Uh, we could simplify inside first, negative 25 over 5, and make that negative 5, and the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. Another way to do this, uh, just to illustrate some of the properties, remember if you have a fraction inside of absolute value, we can write that as the absolute value of the numerator over the absolute value of the denominator, and the absolute value of negative 25 would simply be positive 25. The absolute value of 5 is just 5, and if we divide 25 over 5, again, gives us our solution of positive 5. So, um, and just one little, you know, one little thing to point out, if you accidentally did this mistake, you know, back in the first example where you got a negative number, to me, you know, I'm taking the absolute value of something uh, for example, in this first problem, the absolute value of anything either has to be zero or a positive number. So at the end, if I did get some negative number out, I, I, I would just recognize that something had to be wrong there. And uh, maybe I would, you know, figure out that this was the incorrect step. So just think about that too when you're doing absolute value. So, um, all right, I hope these few uh, examples help.